Every day is a busy day for the Euromax team. For 10 years now, they've been producing a daily half hour of life and culture in Europe. Greetings from the German capital. Hello and welcome to the show. Euromax is lifestyle pure, showing its viewers that Europe is colourful and exciting and full of surprises. The first programme went on air on June the 30th, 2003. Euromax, hosted by Karen Helmstedt. Hello and welcome to the first edition of our new magazine, Euromax. Hello and welcome to the show. Hello. Hello and a very warm welcome to a star-studded show. Hi there and welcome to our latest edition. From day one, Euromax was broadcast both in English and German. Und ich sage hallo und herzlich willkommen zur ersten Ausgabe unseres neuen Magazins. And here she is with me in the studio. Welcome to the show, Julie Delpy. Working in the early years, prominent guests joined us in the studio. Joining me now is the man himself. Welcome to Euromax, Bud Spencer. In March 2008, Euromax saw some major changes. The studio got a makeover and the show was first broadcast in widescreen format. But over the decade, the editorial staff have kept their knack for picking unusual topics that viewers don't easily forget. Whether it's the roller coaster restaurant or the horse hoof shoes. Euromax is innovative. The show's early edition sent its video journalists traveling from the North Cape to Gibraltar in a camper. In many of our series, Euromax reporters leapt into the unknown, making new experiences. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. We traveled around Europe as well. Bonjour from Paris. Hasta luego and adios. Au revoir. In 2011, we went to Berlin Fashion Week. And Guido, why have you chosen this one? I think this is a perfect dress for you. This is the fabulous dress. Hey, I expect you're all wondering what on earth I'm doing. There was well, plenty going on in the Berlin studio as well. Planking. Well, for those of you who've never met her before, allow me to introduce my alter ego in plaster. Hey, and just for fun, I thought I'd dress the part. Since day one, the show's been made up of regular features. Like Euromax Clip Mania, which highlights the funniest and most creative web clips. And there were award-winning formats, too. One of them, the strange world of Max X. Or the Truth About Germany series, which saw Mikael Vigger investigate the accuracy of some widespread cliches. But why are Germans so mad about this kind of music? Partner stations around the world rebroadcast Euromax and its best moments. In Chinese, for example. And since February 2012, DW has also been producing Euromax in Spanish and Arabic. Bienvenidos a nuestra segunda edición de Euromax. And Euromax isn't only on TV. You can also find it online. Of all of DW's magazines, it has the most followers on Facebook. Fans exchange ideas with the show's editors, keep up with Euromax news and watch videos. It's been 10 exciting years, and now the team is looking forward to 10 more.